सुपर एंड टू आर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप्स यू डूइंग वेल आज रात तक तो तने के हवाले से फिर एक नई एपिसोड लेकर आपकी खबरों में हाजिर हुए हैं यहाँ लाइटिंग का एक्सपो चल रहा है तो आज उसको एक्सप्लोर करने के लिए आए हुए हैं सो आपके साथ आपके डिटेल शेयर करते हैं आई होप्स यू डूइंग वेल थैंक यू important for our business as it helps us build or grow our exposure in the market multiple brands such as DCW LZF Yuruchi Lampadari Penta ST Luz and Astro as light and suppliers we present our manufacturers products in this event we are launching a few of the novelties such as the Cry Rock from Yuruchi La Lampe Prechin from DCW the keynote from LZF and the gems from Penta. A lot of designers walked in, a lot of architects have walked into our stand, so I'd say we're really happy with the result. It's extremely important for our business as it helps us build or grow our exposure in the market and allows us to build on more connections in order to grow.
questions. And lastly, really, how do we see the future? Okay. So, Colin, maybe I'll start with you. Um, Saudi Arabia's design industry is moving at an absolute breakneck speed. Um, from supply chains to market saturation, in your perspective, how do you maintain quality? How do you uh, deal with timelines? We've got all of these geopolitical concerns about getting the product here. We've obviously got this entire exhibition on Saudi aid. Give us your impression on how you make this happen. Well, it's a great question, and I believe uh, it's not an easy thing to do, but uh, uh, Lately, Saudi Arabia is heading towards a uh, great vision and there are large-scale projects that is really promising, whether it is uh, nearby the sea, uh, the Red Sea, like for example, uh, the Coral Blue project or uh, Neon project or whatever. Coming to this event, we were able to meet people who are decision makers in the Middle East market and um, it was quite surprising to uh, also see clients and see people who have been working in the industry for a very long time and um, I think the really amazing thing is that no matter where we are as a lighting community we seem to always gravitate towards each other. Why is the Saudi Arabian lighting market appearing as a design director? I think Saudi uh, for us uh, especially as a studio at Lightfunk represents innovation, represents um, I would say sky's the limit kind of moments because we work on hospitality, we work on master planning and our first heritage project for hospitality was in Saudi. So I think that Saudi as a market is really really integral to the region because without it I feel like I cannot or I would not push boundaries as a lighting planner, I would not push boundaries as a studio director and I might even not push boundaries as um, as a community together the way that we do. What changes will be the Expo 2030 in the Riyadh bring about in Saudi Arabia? Saudi was or Saudi Arabia was announced as the winner. There was no shock because they are at the forefront of technology. They are at the forefront of encouraging new investments, new complete kind of approach to design, to how we approach the world all together. The next expo is testament to how powerful a, a, a nation it is and how much it creates a complete kind of following. It, it almost enlightens other nations to follow in its pursuit. And I think that especially for the lighting design industry, we have a new opportunity to go beyond what we were able to do. Rooted uh, within the culture, but giving, shortening the time and giving better results and better quality, I believe this is what we're talking about today. Excellent, thank you. Angie, um, we, they, are, they might not claim it, but they are. Um, so, if you had to look at an opportunity, given all of these aspects, where do you think 